Okay, so we're going to start with our paper horizontally. So you want to have it um, this, this way that I have it. And then I'm drawing some guidelines today. I'm going to do a guideline that goes vertically, so up and down on either side of my paper. I didn't go all the way to the edge of my paper. I drew it a little bit in from the edge of the paper. And those don't have to be super straight. It's just to keep us in the center of our paper and it's to help us to draw our shark today. So today we're doing a great white shark. So, so our great white shark is going to have his tail along this line that we drew and the nose along, right along that line. So that's why we drew those lines so we can kind of fit it in the page. So in the middle of this line, I made a little mark so that I have, I know where the center of that line is. So instead of drawing a straight across line across our paper, I just did a little dot on either side, just in the center, because that's where I want to start my, um, my, center of the tail of my shark. So from this center dot, we're gonna come down toward the bottom of this line with a nice curved line. So I'm gonna draw a curved line that comes not all the way at the bottom of my paper, but toward the bottom of my page. So this started in the center of the paper here on the right and came all the way down toward the bottom of my paper on the left. Now, right at the end of this line, I wanna make a C shape. This is gonna be my shark's nose. So I made a little bit of a C curve there. And now from the bottom of that curve, I want to come all the way back in a curve right up below my um, starting point. So now I have a long oval shape. It looks like a, maybe like a seed, a long flat football. Um, maybe it looks like a, a UFO. I don't know what you think it looks like. Okay. So our shark's eye is really close to its nose. So if you look at my final drawing here, you see where the eye is very close to the front of the shark. Um, it's harder to see in our photo here. So I'm going to show you the line drawing. So I'm going to make a round eye close to the front of my um, shark's nose. Now let's finish our tail because our tail lines up really nicely with this line we made on the right. So from just next to the center line that we made on the back of our shark, I'm gonna make the top edge of my tail. So I'm making a angle, an angled line that goes all the way to this straight line that I made. And on the bottom, I want to do the same thing. I'm making an angled line and it ends down at my line here. I'm going to make this line a little bit more steep. So a little more of an angle. I think I made my tail a little big. And then using the line that you made, that first line that we made, we're going to make the back of our tail. So our tail has a little round top and then I'm just following the line here and a little curved line here and following my line there. And that's my shark's tail. Then 
if I look at about halfway on my shark's back, so find about where you think is about half of my shark and put a little mark there. This is where the fin is going to be. The shark's dorsal fin is the fin up on the top. So starting halfway between the tail and the nose, where I put my little mark, I'm going to make my dorsal fin and it curves back. It curves toward the tail. And it's kind of a triangle shape, but it has a little bit of a round top to it. And then a curve right back down. This one is like a more of a C curve right down to the top of my shark's back. And that's my dorsal fin. Now, if I pretended that I was putting a line right across my shark and coming straight down, that's where I want to start the fin that's on the bottom. So if you want to put a line here, you can. You could always erase it later. I did it really lightly so I could erase it later. I put a straight line down from the front of my dorsal fin. And this is where I want to start my lower fin. This fin is also pointing to back toward the shark's tail. So where that fin is right on the belly, where that line came down, I'm going to make a curved line going back toward my tail. I erased it because I wanted it to angle down a little more. And I made it a little curved because it's not totally straight. And now this is also like a triangular shape with a little, if you made a backwards C at the end, so you had a curve instead of a point. Now you can make your triangle go right back up to the bottom of your shark. Now that's our shark's lower fin. And then to connect the front of the fin and the back of the fin, I'm gonna make pretty much like a um, half of an oval or like a, almost like a rainbow curve at the top. That's gonna be the top of my fin. So sharks, great white sharks have five gills. The gills are the slits in the, um, the side of the body where the shark breathes. So these are five lines. We're going to put those right in front of this fin we just drew, okay? And those don't have to be straight. They, they're straight lines, but they can um, be a little bit um, random. They don't have to line up perfectly. So I put five of those in there. Okay. Our shark now needs a mouth. So the first thing we're gonna do, where you put your shark's eye, between the eye and the bottom of the note, of the um, front of the shark, we're gonna put a nostril. The shark has a little nostril way in the front, so you can see it here. Way in the front, below the eye, toward the front of the nose. And then to do our shark's mouth, if you came right down below the eye at the bottom of your shark's body, and have a line going very close to the bottom of the shark's body. And this line can have a little bit of a wave to it. And we like to make our shark's mouth open 
So this is the top of the mouth. I'm gonna take an angled line toward the end of my line on the right here and just come down to the bottom of my shark's body. And if I go in with my eraser and erase just a little bit of the bottom of the body there, now my shark's mouth is open. And the picture shows just a couple of little teeth there. So for the teeth, I just drew, if my shark's mouth is an open mouth like this, I just drew, looks like the letter M in there. Okay. So you'll see from the picture too, that Maybe you can see it a little better. The shark has some smaller fins in the back. So let's make sure we put those in there. So right in front of the tail, the top of the tail, we want to make another tiny fin. This is going to be the same shape as our big dorsal fin. So we're going to make a line coming up and then back down like a little triangle there. And then behind this fin, we're gonna put another triangle. And this one goes toward the tail and back up. So I've added a couple of those extra fins that the shark has. Now, I don't know if you can see too well, and I'll make the picture a little bigger. The shark has white on the belly and gray on the top. So what I'm gonna do is put a really light line down the center of my shark, or well, toward the bottom of my shark's body. And this is gonna just be the line that divides the body from gray to white. And you see I'm making this a wavy line. And it goes from the center of the tail here and all the way down to just below the nostril. I do wanna erase a few things. So inside my fin, this lower fin that I put in, I want to erase the line that's the bottom of the body. Because I don't want to outline that. And then if you put in this guideline from the front of the fin to the bottom of the body, you can erase that too. And if you're ready, you can erase those first two lines we drew and then the dots on them. Those are called guidelines. We like to draw those so we can put our drawing on the right place on the page. So I erased my guidelines, one on each side, and I erased a little line in the middle of my fin. So if you have a black pen or a marker or a Sharpie, so sometimes I use this black pen, sometimes I use a narrow Sharpie. Um, I like to outline the lines we're gonna keep on my shark. So the first thing I'm gonna do is fill in the eye. Sharks have these small black eyes. I'm gonna also do the nostril. I can fill those in with my pen because they're not too big. Then I'm going to go in with my pen and I want to outline the whole body.
And I want to be careful to outline the parts that I want to keep. So if I change the line or something, I'm going to leave my mouth open so I can put those little teeth in there. Don't forget those small fins and then our nice big dorsal fin. I'm also going to use my black pen to do the lines of the gills because these gills are slits in the side of the shark's body. They're a pretty dark line. Um, Trish? Yeah? Hi, Max. Do we, uh, do we outline the, um, so the lines in the back, so the back of the tail. Yep. The fin, do we outline the body and the fins or just the fins? Back here. Of the, hold on. Where? Can you see my, um, back here? Is that the part you were wondering yeah. about? Yeah. yeah. You know how you outline the body and then you outline the tail? You outline yep. the body in there? I did outline the body right here. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. just a little bit at the back. Mm -hmm. And then I outlined the fins. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going in with my eraser because I made a few changes to some lines. So this is a good time. The pen that you used won't erase. So if you go in and say you made a little bit of a mistake or you wanted to change a line, this is a good time to go in and just erase. And you don't have to worry about erasing the outlines you made. So one thing I did not outline was this wavy line I put down my shark's body. This was just a line between the gray of the top of my shark and the white of the bottom of my shark. So I'm not going to outline that. I'm just going to let that be the difference between the gray and the white. Now I'm going to go in and put in some color. So if you have some gray markers or crayons or pastels, gray white sharks are actually not white, they're gray. Um, they don't have a lot of color on them. Most of the gray is, like I said, up on the top of the shark. So if you wanted to use um, something like a gray pastel, um, I don't know if anybody has pastels handy. I'm going to use pastel because it goes pretty quick to use pastel. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting the gray on the top part of the shark because the bottom part of the shark is white. So I don't want to put any color on the bottom. So this is a pastel. If you've taken my class, you know we use these a lot of the times for a background because they blend really easily. So you see, I can just blend them. I can color my whole shark pretty easily and uh, blend it so it looks really smooth. Sharks have really smooth skin because they swim and they're in the water.
So you see how I'm leaving the white on the bottom? And I'm just using my pastel for the gray part. So I'm using pastel here. You can use, like I said, you can use um, marker if you have it. Um, pastels are nice because you can erase if you smudge past your shark's body. So I can use my eraser to kind of clean up my space around it. And before you go, too far. You can also add some fish in the background. So a lot of the pictures I found of sharks when I was looking for shark images to draw have small fish in the background. So that's a nice way to add something to the background of your drawing. Um, I colored this one earlier. So you see, I put the gray at the top of my shark. I used a couple of different blues for the background. So I have some darker blue down here. Then I have a little bit lighter blue. Then I put a couple of little fish in there. I figured my shark needs something to eat or to hunt. So um, it's hard to see in this photo that I'm referencing. Um, I think this photo was up on the um, in the email I sent everybody. So if you wanted to see it, um, there are some fish in it. Um, it's really hard to see on the screen right now. So um, that could be a fun thing to do to add some fish. So a fish is basically an oval shape or like a teardrop shape, and then the tail fins. You can't see a lot of the detail of the um, fish because they're swimming and they're far away. But if you made an oval shape and then have the fins be two triangles toward the back, you could actually make a little school of fish in the background up to you. If you wanted to add to your shark drawing as well, you could make some, um, if your shark was swimming toward the bottom of the ocean, you could make some plants in the um, ocean. This is a nice thing to do to just make an interesting background. So I'm making some tall kelp like plants by using wavy lines going up and down my page. And it looks like my shark is now swimming in front of some wavy long kelp grasses. I'm making wavy lines as if they're floating in the water. I'm, I'm making these lines overlap. So definitely add a little to the background of your drawing and um, go ahead and if you have pastels or something like crayons that are great for a background think about using lots of different colors in the background like i used here i used at least three different blues there so um, that's it for our shark today and i hope everybody had a good time with the shark and um, i'm gonna do another drawing next week so my own pastel. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, Max? Found my own pastel. Oh, good. You had some. I was using. I I, I was using these. I should have been using these. Here, Joe. Oh, okay. Oh, the green one.
Yeah, and don't forget with pastels, you can blend and you can um, mix the colors together. Hey, that looks really good, Kai. Thanks. Definitely think about doing a background too. I definitely. Oh, that looks good. Look at that seaweed in the back. Nice. Will, that came out really nice. Thanks. Oh, good. Nice, Max. So I'll do another class next week. Hopefully I'll see all you guys back again. Good job, Thank Cam. Thank you. Nice. Hey, these came out really good, you guys. How'd you do, Tessa? Good. I, did. I got it. So yeah, if you wanted to look at it again, check out the YouTube channel. Oh, Arts Park has a YouTube yeah. channel. I'll put up this video so you can follow it again. And um, there's some other ones up there. So um, if you wanted to go back and check out a part that you, um, you wanted to try again, or if you want to um, actually um, see what else is up there, um, check it out. Okay, guys? Thank you. All right, I'll see ya. Bye. 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 Bye.